Hi everyone, I'm Isabel, and you're watching Kids Who Love to Cook. Today, we're continuing our series on baking cookies. Another basic cookie to master is oatmeal and raisin. I've added cranberries because cranberries are a perfect match for oatmeal. I love cranberries. In fact, cranberry juice is my favorite drink. It's so healthy. All right, so for this recipe, you'll need one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one cup of butter, which is two sticks at room temperature, one cup of sugar, one cup of dark brown sugar, two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, three cups of old fashioned rolled oats, these are not instant, three quarter cups of raisins, and three quarter cups of cranberries. If you don't wanna use cranberries, you can use one and a half cups of raisins. I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Now I'm going to combine the flour, salt, and baking soda in this bowl. Now in a separate bowl, I'm going to beat together the butter and the two sugars. This will take about four minutes until they're light and fluffy. Now this looks perfect. Now I'm going to add the eggs, one at a time. Now I'll just mix this very well until the eggs are fully incorporated. Now egg number two. And now the vanilla. Mix again. Now I'm gonna add the flour little by little until everything is mixed. Make sure the flour is completely mixed in. Now I'll add the oats, raisins, and cranberries. I love these golden raisins. Now I just have to mix this together very well. I love that crunchy noise. This cookie dough is ready. I'll put it in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes while I prepare the baking sheets. I have two baking sheets here that I have to line with parchment paper. Perfect. Now the second one. Now I'm gonna check on my cookie dough. This looks great. Now I'll start scooping. I use this ice cream scooper because it makes perfectly round shapes. You can also use a spoon if you want. Next try. These are ready. Now I'm gonna bake these for 10 to 12 minutes. I'm 
gonna let these cool for 10 minutes. You know your cookies are ready when there's a brown edge around the cookie. But don't worry, they're still perfectly chewy inside. Now that the centers of the cookies have firmed up a little and they're completely cool, I'm gonna transfer them to the cookie rack. I bought these really nice boxes from the craft store and I'm gonna package up some cookies for my mom. write my mom's name so my brother won't steal them. Nice little gift idea, huh? I'll be the next Mrs. Fields. <laughs>